What's up, everyone, and welcome to Best Car Reviews. I'm Ben, and today we'll be dissecting the 2023 Hyundai Palisade. Before we begin, please like and subscribe so I continue to bring accurate and clear car reviews in under 10 minutes. Let's get started. The full-size SUV market seems to have endless options. Whether you want a yacht of a vehicle like the Escalade ESV or a more reasonably sized three-rower, there's plentiful options. Hyundai delivers a phenomenal product, and their 2023 Palisade is no slouch in the industry. I would strongly consider the Palisade when exploring options to purchase. If you're a fan of the look, then stay tuned. Today we'll look at the different trims and key details that matter most to you to determine which will be the best bang for your buck. Photos and information in today's video come direct from Hyundai or from Car and Driver. Let's dive in. The 2023 Palisade will come in with five different trim options, starting out at the SE, SEL, XRT, Limited, and Calligraphy. That SE will be that most basic trim level and starts at a phenomenal price for a three row vehicle at $37,235. And if you want that top trim, the calligraphy, you'll be shelling out just over $50,000 at 51185 Five different options here spanning a range of $14,000. There's absolutely a pricing option and desirable design option for you. Looking at the engines here and only one engine option for the 2023 year. You have a 3.8 liter V6 that puts out 291 horsepower, 262 pound feet of torque. This is a solid engine, uh, actually pretty decent for fuel economy considering the size of the car and the size of that V6. Um, so not nothing to worry about there really. Uh, and if you want a hybrid, Hyundai has that option as well. Looking at the transmission, that'll go along with this. You get a nice eight speed auto, so it'll be very smooth and solid. Looking at the drivetrain, First four trims will come standard with front wheel drive and an option of all wheel drive, uh, which I think is very disappointing. All wheel drive should absolutely be standard. And I think all vehicles, especially a full size SUV, but if you opt for the calligraphy trim, you'll get that all wheel drive standard. Looking at MTP, MPG numbers for the 3.8 liter V6, you get 19 in the city and 26 on the highway. All right, we'll look through some pictures now of the Palisade and the different trim options. Uh, this is the new look of these designs of Hyundai. Uh, you can tell they all kind of match each other with the theme. And they do have a very loud grill. There's a lot going on when you look at it. I think they work well, though, and blend nicely. And I like how they almost camouflage the lights. You know, their headlights and their DRLs kind of blend in with the grill features. I think that's cool. You don't really see that on any other brand. They really kind of made their unique look there. Uh, this is Hyundai's largest SUV and a very popular model in general, not just in the SUV class. These five different trims that are offered uh, looks from a basic model to that sporty theme to the classy and the more luxury oriented calligraphy. So different styles for to each its own. The XRT is going to be that sporty trim coming blacked out with 20 inch wheels. This is a good option to have considering how many packages there are from competitors for blacked out looks definitely a popular way to have your car across all segments not just suvs and although this isn't the fastest suv from the stoplight uh, the quiet and comfortable interior makes up for it this said to be a very smooth ride if you want more speed then offer a durango hellcat to get yourself to walmart faster the top trim calligraphy has an exclusive robust emerald paint color it's a nice silver uh, if you're someone who likes to have exclusive things in your trims it's a cool feature about that uh, these Palisades can tow up to 5,000 pounds, which is nice too. If you need a small, tow a small trailer, you need to haul a little U-Haul around, you do have some towing capacity there. LED headlights on all trims is a major plus. Sometimes these lower trims still come with halogen bulbs, which is absolutely blasphemous in my opinion. And aside from those 20-inch blacked-out wheels on the XRT, they've come out with some new designs for 20-inch alloy wheels, which are being said to be very uh, nice-looking, and as you can see, they are. Uh, these also get dual exhaust tips and new Palisade badging throughout. Really makes this look like a sleek car, but people know what you're driving. I think the best bang for your buck is probably going to be the XRT trim. I would say the SEL, but for only $1,000 more, you can get that super sport option look. Uh, if you don't like that look, then the SEL is absolutely the best bang for your buck. I would always opt for that second trim up, unless you really just care about the bare bones of the car. Can look at the interior now and i don't think this is the best looking interior of a vehicle i've ever seen except on that calligraphy trim but there are some nice touches and for the purpose of this car and the price point there's really nothing to complain about the 
if you want more, there's plenty of options elsewhere for you to get that. Uh, but this is spacious, but not out of control uh, of a large SUV. Uh, it gives you just enough room for what you need without having a 40 foot long vehicle. Uh, plenty of storage for you and your family. The SE and the SEL seat eight passengers due to their lack of second row captain's chairs. The rest of those trims have those and can seat seven. You get 18 cubic feet behind the third row, 41 cubic feet of storage with the third row folded down, and 81 cubic feet of storage with the second and third rows folded down. So plenty of room if you need to haul a bunch of things with you down the road and put both rows down or even one, you gain a lot of storage compared to just having the trunk space. Uh, another cool feature about this is the driver's seat is designed to keep the driver alert and comfortable. You're seeing this a lot on new models that are coming out. This focus on the driver's seat specifically being made, you know, a better seating position to just keep that driver more alert, which is great. Uh, some more features here. You get a 12.3 inch infotainment system on all trims. Uh, usually the base level trim has a smaller screen, but not in this case. You also get a 12.3 inch digital info cluster behind that steering wheel. And another cool feature too, you get a 12 speaker Harman Kardon system available on those top trims. I would absolutely offer that, especially if you like blasting your music. The limited and calligraphy trims also get a 10 inch color heads up display, which if you're into those, that's a definitely a plus for those trims. Most advanced safety features get optioned in on the highest trims, but there's still a plethora on the lower trims to cho choose from to keep you safe. Review guys, love the new Palisade. I think it's a fantastic option. Love Hyundai. My first car was a Hyundai. I trust them. It was a phenomenal car. I have no issues with it whatsoever. And from what I hear about other models, that's just the trend with Hyundai. They just are very solid cars, very solid vehicles. So if this is an option that you're looking for, you want a three row SUV, or not even close to a crazy price, then you should absolutely consider this model, especially given that base trim. If that's all you need, you just want that three row car. You don't care about bells and whistles. You can get that for under $40,000, and that is cheaper than a lot of cars, even sedans. So this is a fantastic option. I'm so glad Hyundai priced this you know, in a way that people can actually get it. Uh, you know, It seems like they're thinking about you, the buyer. Another great thing about Hyundai. So hopefully this video laid things out in a clear way for you guys. Thank you for watching this Best Car Review. Please subscribe if not already so I can continue to grow the channel. I'll catch you on the next Best Car Review.